Oh, let's go. I'm so excited. That's me. Off his Pringles. <laughs> <coughs> I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Really? Yes. I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a butterbee in the village. <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's owl was perfect. Okay. We gotta check something first. No. Oh, okay, never mind. Ooh, we're getting some lag. In my opinion, divination is a load of rubbish. Okay. Settings. Oh, it's C to walk. Okay. Oh, that's so helpful. Okay. Professor and I seem so logical. I don't understand how she believes in things she teaches. It's not working. It's going to. I need to raise myself up a bit more. There we go. Okay. Did it not just say C to walk? PC control options. C. I'm trying holding it and... I cannot tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh air after being cooped up in ancient runes. Grave mistake to take it as an elective class, believe me. I believe you. Though I suppose you would not really call it elective when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. Hogsmeade is beautiful this time of year. Everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas. But that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. <laughs> not much for the cold, are you? Oh, I do not mind the cold so much. But it has taken some getting used to. I did not go up around snow. Oops. All right, hold tight. I've got to clear some things up. I've... <coughs> I'm feeling a bit of lag. Okay. Oh, There's wait, over here. I often spot lacewing flies in this area. Oh? What's so special about them? They are interesting to look at. But if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. I love it. Yeah, this is all open world too. Like I can just go anywhere. That's crazy. Look, hey, from Dan. a forbidden forest, hippogriffs. I wonder if something startled them. I heard rumors that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs. Absolutely. 
Likely already named them too. That's the Forbidden Forest on the left. It's off limits to students, as the name implies. Why is it off limits? The professors claim it is too dangerous. I think that calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. Ah, there's Hogsmeade over the crest. Pass that ruin. I would spend all of my time exploring if I could. I confess I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area, since you're relatively new here. She said that? Hmm. She knows more about me than I had thought. I will say, while I certainly learn a great deal in class, much can be gleaned outside of the castle walls. How are you settling in? I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Everything was so new and unfamiliar. I'm getting used to things. What about you? Do you finally feel settled? I still miss my homeland, but it is beautiful here too. And getting out of the castle and exploring helped me to adjust quite a bit. Hogwarts has become something of a home now, I would say. Hopefully it will for you too. Mr. Moon! He is the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss On I. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Huh? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did Mr. Moon? Jemmy, guys, ugly and airy and mm, terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Huh? Poor Mr. Moon. A demi guys. I think he had too much fun in the village. I will say that I have never seen him in such a state. Nearly there. There is much to see outside of the castle walls, not just Hogsmeade. I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. Rumors being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. I'll keep that in mind, Natty. Thank you. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? And here we are. It is hard to know where to start. The Three Broomsticks is the place for Butterbeer. And you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honey Dukes. I could not choose a favorite shop here. It changes with every visit. I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spellcraft, some seeds, and... A new wand. Of course! You will enjoy Mr. Ollivander, and I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Experience Hogsmeade at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. Enjoy yourself. I will see you soon. Hogsmeade Village is brimming with different sites, shops, and other points of interest that you can navigate using your field guide's map. Oh, okay. The Hogsmeade map shows shops and points of interest. You can track any of these by highlighting an icon and pressing left click. Press escape to exit the Hogsmeade map. Very cool. What do we got here? Points of interest... Beast supply shop stocked with the latest and greatest in beast byproducts. Spin, which is sporting needs. Very cool. Oh, I'm excited. We're going to go to all these places. 
In time. In time. Let's just... Uh, I don't want a waypoint or anything. Let's just explore. Sprightly though, isn't he? Yeah, well it makes sense working with athletic athletes. So many locked doors. Oh, what do we got here? It's all right on our doorstep in the forbidden forest. I don't need to be a seer to know a bad sign when I see it. We've got our ones and potions, but the creatures, they've got something more. Somehow they just know. Something bad's afoot. It's a sign. I bet my last potion. It is raining a bit. Okay. Welcome to J. Pippin's Pushins. Gold wooden spectacles. Okay. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art to potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. A potion's really that versatile. They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake. They are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses. And I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? What can I do for you today? Edoras potion recipe. Recipe for a potion that causes a rocky film to develop on the consumer's skin, helping to protect them from harm. Okay, all right. What do I got hold it? A wise decision. Thank you. Wiganweld potion recipe. Recipe for a healing potion. Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory. Or come back another time if you're in a rush today. Ooh, these are expensive. I don't, I can't cover that. Stench of the dead, spider fang, ashwinder eggs. Combat tools, focus potion. Oh, no, no, we're not. We're not quite there yet. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Look at the art, though, like... They did a really good job at the at making the Rebellion. Ah, I thought so. J. Pippin's Potions. J. Pippin's Potions, established in 1753, is the apothecary in Hogsmeade where proprietor Perry Pippin sells a wide variety of potions and their ingredients. Alright, good to know. Can 
is very cool. Locked. Locked, locked. I'm gonna go up here. Revelio. No, oh, it's got the eyes. I don't know how to open the ones with the eyes. Rebellion. Cool. I mean, I feel like a grave robber, but I got some coin. Two to get in Hogsmeade? Okay. Oh. Oh, wait, that was just for the first. Okay, now it's making more sense. Hello? Oh, no way. Lumos. Okay. A high top hat? Oh, ho, ho. it's about to get dapper in here. Wiganwell potion? Alright. Alright, so let's see. Alright, so we're by, probably by a... Just a, a wall. A natural rock wall, I would say. Okay. So, yeah, <laughs> I was like, I feel like it's right here. Hello, sheep. Lumos. Or... Ram. Oh, I did see that. I'll come back for it. Revelio. There we go. Look at this. Stocking up. Abandoned shop. The proprietor of this abandoned shop is said to have used a shrinking charm to aid in storing his inventory. However, a slight... <coughs> I hate to sneeze. However, a slight miscalculation ended up, for all intents and purposes, vanishing it. Oh. Oh my gosh, look at this. Like, can I go up there? That, that's so cool. That's so cool. Hello? Revelio. I just feel like there's so many secrets, like, everywhere. Everywhere. Do I do it? No, surely I don't. Surely it won't let me. Oh. Oh. Ah. Okay, bit of fall damage, that's fine. Uh. 
They sent me here to get school surprise supplies so far of like raided abandoned houses, jumped off a cliff, and done some light grave robbing. What is this? Oh, is this must be a is this a barber? I don't know why that doesn't show up. My damn Snelling's Tress Emporium. Ah, oh, hello. And how would one like to be styled today? Ooh. I mean, I think I'm good with my hair how it is, but... Hello. Oh, come in! Come in! Welcome to Madam Snelling's Tress Emporium. <laughs> I'm sure I've no need to introduce myself. They used to call me Snelly. Oh, Snelly! Why aren't you studying to be an aura? But I showed them. They're stuck in the dust at the ministry and I'm here thriving. <laughs> Absolutely thriving. But look at you. Look at you. I can certainly see why you paid me a visit. Looking for a change, are we? Why not, I say? What sort of change? Some are going for that. Muggle with consumption, sort of, death becomes me allure. But you won't find poisons here. No need for chloride of lime or ammonia when you have magic. Why don't you spend a moment choosing how you'd like to look? You can change your hair too if you'd like. I should be going now. Thank you. Okay, now it's working so I can type a walk. What's that? Oh, hello. That never gets old. That feels so satisfying every single time. I'm just trying to practice. I'm sure I'll have it soon. Set now, worry. Ooh, this, this is open. Oh, can I not go in it? Finally, an open door, and I can't go in it. What are you? I told you not to go down that path. Miss Peck from Rude and Peck said a customer lost a deeracle around here. I know we're not supposed to go down there. I just thought you could have got us in a lot of trouble. I'm very sorry, Father. Only she said I might earn a reward. Uh, instead, I just wasted our time. There you are. Ha! Huh. Finally, I'll have enough for that wind wisp. Ah, well, not meant to be. Also, I may have knocked over a dustbin back there. Never mind, I'll fix it, as always. Where is it? Accio! Oh, that's got some range on it. I wasn't sure if that would reach. Rebellion. Oops, not what I meant to do. I'm oh, getting some gold now. Accio. That's locked. That's also locked. I knew that. I don't know why I went and looked again. Hogs meat, here I come. But you're here already. <laughs> yeah. Where'd that bird go? Where's that dodo bird? Oh. Go. All right. Let's see what's in here. Oh, 
We gotta do it. Yeah. Revelio. Sweet looking, not gonna lie. Not gonna lie to you. What do we have here? Yeah, just come on in, cast some spells, search their chests, drink their drinks. It's very cool. Is this just go outside? It does, okay. Hello. Wait, never mind. Excuse me. I've got some shoplifting to do. Yep. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Hang on, hang on. We are going out here. There we go. 55 gold. Just leaving that outside. Might as well just let me have at the cash register, honestly. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Rebellion. Glad Rags Mannequin. Unlike the enchanted mannequins favored by students for dueling practice, the mannequins at Gladrag serve only as a means to display the latest in wizarding fashion. Okay, alright. Can I really not? No, there's no way it makes me go around here. Am I losing my mind? Oh, also, these are like very different stores. Like that's a different shop than this. I, I'm getting, I have a hunch. Ma, what a strike you have been. You'll make quite the portrait one day. I wouldn't want to be hung next to you. Why can't I trade with him? I want to see what you got. What do you got? Revelio. Yeah, I just like can't. I thought so. Sneakoscope. A sneakoscope is a type of dark detector and will spin, whistle, and light up when it detects someone untrustworthy nearby. It should be used with caution, however, as it will alert the untrustworthy to the user's presence almost instantly. That's pretty sweet. Okay, yeah, I guess I just can't interact with him yet. Alright, I will take my business elsewhere. Wait till you see the prince. It's simply divine. I don't know why the why are some of the textures so like, I, like, surely those are, should be real signs. Okay. Ooh. Snow lock on this door. Can't go in. Okay. We'll go in this store. Driven Shaft's Quill Shop. Oh, gosh. I can taste the dust. Revelio! Oh, yeah, we got some stuff. Excuse me, kitty. Scriven Shaft Cats. These cats seem to stay close to Scriven Shaft's Quill Shop. Perhaps it's the feather quills that entice them, or perhaps it's the treat the owner leaves. The owner often leaves for them. I mean, I don't say that would do it, huh? Hi, I guess I can't talk to you, but you just go ahead and raid your, raid your place, huh? Revelio. Oh, that's outside, I think. 
Okay, bye. Over here. Yeah, why is that? Uh, some of this stuff feels like. Some of this stuff feels like strangely low. I don't want to say low quality, but. Golden silk robes? Oh, yes, please. What do we got here? Let's see. Burgundy robe? Uh huh. Golden silk robes? Oh, that's pretty fancy. It feels weird to not just wear the normal robe, so to be honest. I think we got we gotta go with this though. I mean it's got the higher stats, so I don't like that. I don't wanna wear things because it's got higher stats, but we are playing on hard, so we've gotta Tartan Classic School Uniform. Oh, okay. That looks good with the burgundy. That with the scarf and the burgundy? Okay. Alright, I, I like that. Uh, gloves, fine. Yikes. That's weird, but okay. Hat, what do we got? Do I wear the top hat? <laughs> oh. I don't like the top hat. All right, not right now. We'll, we'll come back to it. Very cool. Very cool, though. What up? Rebellion. Magical mail. These shoots in the post office magically sort various bits of mail. The post office itself houses over 200 owls, color-coded based on how quickly a particular letter or parcel needs to be delivered. I didn't know that. We're getting a lot of XP, though. I hope this doesn't make it too easy on us. Uh, like when we go to like go for combat or something. Oh, I don't know. I guess it, it should, right? It's got to be for something. Revelio. Hengist of Woodcroft. This statue of Hufflepuff Hengist of Woodcroft, believed to be the founder of the village of Hogsmeade after having been driven from his home by muggle per persecutors. Oh, well, hello to you. Did I hear another one? Hello. Is it potion? Okay. Alright, we'll head, we'll head into Honeydukes. Oh, well, actually, let's see... Right over there. What's this? Steeply in Sons. Rebellion! Tea shop decor. Reflective, uh, reflective of proprietor Mrs. Steeply's taste, this tea shop is awash in the color pink and frills. A, ch a cheery tinkle bell chimes whenever a customer enters. It is pretty sweet. Natural beige scarf. I can just, can I just go upstairs? Oh, I wonder if there's more seating upstairs. Nope. <laughs> oh my gosh. Emerald Highland attire? Oh, it's legendary. 
I gotta go with the Highland attire. It's Irish after all. Oh, sweet. That is fantastic. Oh, man, I just found a kilt. Revelio. Is there anything up here? I gotta, gotta search. Oh, 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 oh. Akio. Yeah, no, I didn't think that would work. Now we gotta go get that book. Hey, thanks for letting me, like, raise your tea shop, but I'm gonna go get a fine piece of paper. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Rebellion. Accio. Ah. ah, there you are. Can't let that pass me up. What do we got here? Oh, that's locked. I feel like there's gonna be something cool in the dukes. Rebellion. Yeah, where is it? I'm. I know you're here. Oh, what are you? Oh, all right. I'll just help myself then. Here. Hey, all right. Fizzing Wisbees. These delicious sweets rumored to contain billywig stings are small sherbet balls that, when consumed, will levitate one a few inches off the ground. Exploding bonbons. These treats explode when eaten. Although they are unlikely to cause serious injury, one is advised to chew carefully. As you do, as you do. I'm sorry, dude. I would never expect someone in a kilt to enjoy spicy food. Oh. Doxy floss. Revelio. Just make sure I'm not missing anything. This place is really cool and I don't want anything to be missed. This is candy. Oh my. Elephant on a bicycle. <laughs> okay. Alright, let's see. We'll take a look through here. Rebellion. One more check to make sure. Okay. Now, what do we have up here? Oh man, there's just so much free food. Look at this. Hey, buddy, you <laughs> you, you finished with this? Exhausted. I mean, I'm surprised there's not a uh, Revelio. There's no field page for honeydews. Oh. Oh, 
I'm honestly a little horrified. Ah, there it is. Honey Dukes. Honey Duke Sweet Shop sells a variety of magical sweets, from fizzing whizbees to exploding bonbons. Customers would be wise to know precisely what effect they may experience before sampling this shop's wares. Okay, well I just went ahead and tried every single thing in there without any consideration. Also, is this, uh, hello? Yeah, don't mind if I do. What's some minor Anyone shop? Anyone knew how to keep muggles out? It was Hengist of Woodcroft. I don't know that sentence, but there hasn't been a dragon in history with losing a hair. Good thing the ministry oh, what's up? Okay, um... Oh, <laughs> I really like that. What's up here? Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? No, it does not. It really doesn't. I refuse to believe it does. If someone thinks it does, they're lying and they're wrong and they should be upset. Like, your character is just a menace in this game. Like, I'm just touching everything. Ooh. Purple dragon eyed spectacles? Okay. Oh! Lumos! Hello. Uh, let's see. Crossroads with a road sign. Okay. Is that right down here? Yeah. <laughs> Come here, little moth. Oh. Akio! Lumos! Can you come back? Oh, man. I swear I'm not trying to speedrun this game, but we do, we are, it feels like we're making a lot of progress. Fifteen out of fifteen. Akio! I swear I saw something flying over there, but it may have been an actual bird and not a page. That's <laughs> locked. Oh, what is this? Brown eye of newt goggles? I'm pretty sure Autumn has. Them. I think a friend of mine has those. I don't know how to open these things, but I want to. Rebellion. I thought I heard one. Maybe not. Hogsmeade, here I come. You've been in Hogsmeade. I know you can't tell because we we're just circling around Hogsmeade, but... Is that like a bus stop? But probably not for a bus, for like a carriage or something. Ooh, that's an eyeball, right? Oh, no. Gear slots are full. Sell or discard excess gear or earn. Oh, I missed it. Fairy green sorcerer hat? Well, I can't wear it. <laughs> oh no, I can't. I can't. I can't wear those. That ain't it for me right now.
Right, so I need to sell some gear. Which is really too bad because I like I like like even if they're just a, even if they're just cosmetics, I like to have these options. I don't want to have to sell them and then if I want them, find them again. I wish there was like a wardrobe or something I could store them in in the dormitory. Oh, Rebellion. Right. chest. What in the world am I hearing? Revelio. Oh, <laughs> that just looked a real aggressive. The gear slots are full, so excess gears to vendors. Okay. Located in Hogsmeade. Okay, so we're going to Hogsmeade. So, like, actually sell something now. I mean, I... I can't Lumos. just ignore this. Fence, two lights, big tree. Fence, two lights, big tree. What's up with this? <laughs> What's this? Oh, you're really not gonna let me in there of all places. That's like, that's so cool looking. Leech? Leech juice? Gross, okay. Rebellion. Somewhere to sell our clothes. Anyone casting unforgivable and I dare anyone to argue it. Akio. First they teach you to see this jinxes. Next thing you know, it's unforgivable curses. An inquiring mind. <laughs> I also really like that. Revelio. Alright, where's the things? Thomas Brown. Hello, Thomas Brown. I'll search your place after. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda's student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. Of course it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. 
I'm so excited. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Yes, absolutely. Potting table with a small pot spellcraft. Unlocks the ability to conjure a potting table with a small pot. Use its pot Use its pot to grow all sorts of useful magical plants. Yeah, I mean let's get it. It's Nothing free. like finding just the right thing, is there? Small potion station. Unlocks the ability to conjure a small potion station, perfectly suited to all of your potion brewing needs. If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. I'm, that stuff's so cool. Is this for selling? Okay. Natural base scarf. Oh, man. A pleasure doing business with you. I really hate that I'm selling these things. Can I buy them back? No, they're just gone now. Mm. That breaks my heart. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. Well, let me store them somewhere. Maybe there is and I just don't know it. <laughs> Ambitious cloak. Rebellion. Snow. Oh yeah, I know that's that's one I can't open. I don't think a single student likes Professor Black. They may pretend to like him, but they don't. Let's see. Uh, well, what on earth? As long as it goes. Steeply and Sons, Teas and Confections, Honey Dukes, Pippins we went to. Hogshead we could go to. There's the three broomsticks. Sonkos. Tomes and scrolls we went to. All right, let's head to Ollivander's. Seems like it's in this direction. I know I could just like... Revelio. I know I could just track to it, but... I prefer this. Sir Edwin's Precarious Cauldrons. This precariously stacked set of cauldrons outside Sir Edwin's advises the shops, advertises the shop's wares. It should be noted that stacking cauldrons in this faction, while admittedly eye-catching, is ill-advised for anyone wishing to brew a potion of any intended effect. Yeah, I could see where that... It's not more, uh, more fashionable than functional. Functional. I could see that. I have a terrible curse where I can't lift tools or do work of any kind. Dude, if you work same. all day with your hands, you're no better than a model. Oh. 
Merlin. Blooming beard. Not again. I'll be right with... Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Ah, mm. hello, sir. I'm looking for... For a new wand, yes. It's about time. Yes, I... About time? Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? Hmm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes. Yes. Hmm. Powerful core. Ten and a half inches. Hmm. You might do. Here. Give this one a try. Well, go ahead. Swish. Hmm. How odd. Uh, once more. Come on. Really swish it. Oh, dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? Ha <laughs> uh, um... We'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, mm. Perhaps... Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Goodness! <sighs> Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. <sighs> this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes. I think you might be the one. Here. Take it. Notched, warm brown, red oak, unicorn hair. Flexibility, slightly springy, one length. Ooh. Oh. How intriguing. Curious indeed. Intriguing. Curious indeed. How intriguing. Curious indeed. Oh, what do I want it? How intriguing. Of? Curious indeed. Intriguing. Curious indeed. How intriguing. 
I'm gonna go with you. Curious indeed. How intriguing. Curious indeed. Mm. Dragon heart string produces powerful magic. Unicorn hair produces consistent magic. Phoenix feather, great range of magic. Ah, we Phoenix want feather. Exceptionally rare, and a core with a strong sense of initiative. How intriguing. Curious indeed. Intriguing. Curious indeed. Hmm. How intriguing. Okay, Alabander, let's settle down a bit here, huh? Curious indeed. I'm gonna go with this. This is really creative looking. And I like the green. Looks mossy. How intriguing. I'll go with solid. Curious indeed. I might go with Cedar. How intriguing. You know, Maple. I'm going to go with Maple. What do you think? Extraordinary. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sense a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. Of course. And a phoenix feather core is terribly selective. This will be an excellent match indeed. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new one's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. 
That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Rebellio. Oh, we gotta do it. We gotta do it. Yeah. Ollivander's Wand Shop. Wands of a variety of woods and all manner of flexibility, each possessing one of three magical cores, choose their owners in this cozy, cluttered shop run by the amiable and knowledgeable Gerbold Ollivander. In the, professional, in the profession of wand craft since 382 BC, the Ollivander family are considered the best wand makers in Britain, if not the world. Alright, sweet. Alright, we sold the stuff we need to sell. Let's go see what's in the three broomsticks. Rebellion. The Three Broomsticks, currently run by Sonora Ryan and allegedly as old as Hogsmeade itself, the Three Broomsticks is the long-standing gathering spot for villagers and Hogwarts students who want to enjoy a butterbeer or fire whiskey. Okay, what do we have here? I'm just going to eat surprise things again. I just keep Got some nuts. Was it some cheese? You know, some sort of... Can I just can I just get hammered? Wait, can I interact with all these? Revelio. Hmm. Right, upstairs we go. Oh, there's more people up here. And there's more floors. What is this? That's a sweet little room. Not gonna lie. Useless. Entirely useless. Unbeatable Quidditch gloves. It's like a... It's like a weird open concept closet. No one's up here. Got some tables stacked. Oh, where does this go? We're upstairs now, right? There's no way this just. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's not. We're on a hill. That makes sense now. I, I do want to see what's up these stairs, though. Suspicious. That's very suspicious. Sonkos. Bewildering can of mystery. We've got to push it, right? We got to push it. Rebellion. I like how I pushed the button and it became everyone else's problem. Chili weed tonic. Boxing telescope. <laughs> Oh, 
Why does the guy working on the counter look so sad? So where do we still need to go? The wooden pack we don't have to go to, the magic nape. Oh, okay, we're actually really close. We just have to turn here. West Hogs Akio! Don't mind if I do. Well, hello there. Hello. Oh, okay. Oh, hello there. Please come in. Come in. We're outside. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Ah, oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you, then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way, and this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Let me guess. You're after something fresh. Unlocks the ability to grow dittany in small pots. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Well, that's everything. Better go and find Natty. Seed packets. Unlocks the ability to grow fluxweed, knotgrass, mallow sweet, shrivel fig. Do I have anything to sell? Not yet, not yet I don't. No one can say I don't keep a stack shelf. Revelio. The Magic Neep Cart. This cart belongs to Timothy Teasdale who runs the Magic Neep. He enjoys being in the thick of things and engaging with customers outside the shop. And more power to you, buddy. Welcome. Come on in. Actually, let's see. Let's see. Would it be in challenges? Field page guides. Oh, yeah. Gear appearance rewards. Zonko's chief prankster special. 
Spectacles. Sanko's chief prankster hat. Sanko's chief prankster coat. And Zonko's chief prankster ensemble. Oof. That's pretty sweet. So how do I... We'll throw those on. But I have to change the appearance. Or I, I'm looking to change the appearance, right? I don't know. No, we'll figure it out. Where was I? Right. Oh, yes. <laughs> Good lord. Revelio. There's something weird. I can hear it. But where? Hmm. Bunny rabbit. Hello. There's still so much to explore. The tales of Beetle the Bard still ring true today. Let's go check out Hogshead. Akio! It's a good thing we have Oru. What is that? Oh, it's just an owl sitting there. Not much of a dark art, but fine. Pretend it might seem like harmless fun, but not when you've just had your head. What a menace. How are you just going to go up and just eat and drink things you find? Like, these are clearly for sale. You just spilled them all over the place. Oh my gosh. This man's dangerous. Okay, hello, sketchy place. Revelio. Mounted hog's head. This mounted hog's head rolls its eyes and snuffles its nose as, it's as it oversees the seedy atmosphere and decidedly interesting clientele of the hog's head. Yeah, don't mind me. I'm just gonna help myself to everything. Take some nuts. Look out here. What a tiny place. Oh, okay. There is an upstairs. Just can't get to it. Can't imagine how muggy get by Okay, I think this I think that was a good amount of exploring for right now. Like, I obviously I want to exhaust everything, but different things will take us in different directions, I'm sure. And, like, I, I don't know. It seems like it would be out of character for my... To just, like, send my character, like, up on that cliff. Looking around in the mud. So, we'll, we'll come back to this. Uh, let's see what's going on here. Hello? 
I have everything. I see what you meant about not being able to pick a favorite shop. <laughs> we should walk around a bit more. Perhaps today is the day I finally pick one. Killing him at all. Keep at it. We have to wear him down. Trying to beat him at his own game. I like it. Do more of it. Goodness, a second troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. Sure did. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. Yeah, we got some Repero work to do. Repero! Uh, I will see what he wants. Lucky they didn't do more damage. One less thing for Officer Singer to worry about. Where's the building they collapsed? Repairer! Ah,
There it is. Oh, we were just talk talking about you. Oh. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, uh, Augustus Hill, Clothier Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin. But I can offer you something... Much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And, as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. You won't be disappointed. That's a glad... Oh. I know the drill. Your current defense and offense are displayed at the top right of the screen. Select the cloaks and robes gear slot and press left click. Equip a robe. I can afford this stuff. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. What an extraordinary introduction to Hogsmeade. I would say that we, and you in particular, have earned at least one butterbeer. Shall we head to the three broomsticks? Sounds like a good idea. Wonderful. Just down this way, then. I sell even more battle-worthy items, should you be inclined. You're most welcome to peruse my shop at your leisure. Assuming it is not too busy, you might even meet Serona, the owner. She is a charming hostess and a powerful witch. Good one to know. You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who is this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. Let's go. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Sirona. You be well. Hmm. 
Now, what can I... Oh. There's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one, single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say, trolls in Hogsmeade, that's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... Uh, uh, timely. Was that Lodgog I saw leaving just now? Your clientele's not what it used to be, Sarona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, Theophilus. The Three Broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butterbeer forever. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls, Ranrock, and Rookwood. What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. I think that now might be a good time to head back to the castle. I am certainly glad Serona was there. And that she isn't intimidated by thugs like Brookwood and Harlow. I want to understand what's going on, and I hope you will tell me. But for the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley will certainly hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. I don't want her to worry. You must return to your common room for the night. Access the map. All right. Select the Hogwarts map button to switch to the Hogwarts map. Self-explanatory. The Grand Staircase. Ravenclaw Common Room. Is there anything in here? Like, I'd love to be able to, do, like, store gear. Oh. You received an owl post. Alright. Professor Fig. Come and see me. I've discovered something in the locket we found at Gringotts. Alright. We will certainly find him then. Let's see, no quest, cell post. Inventory. 
inventory, gear. Oh, I can change my gear now. There were some things I couldn't wear before because I wasn't a high enough level. Oh, that's a sick look. I love that. Oh, man. The scarf should probably change, though. I like that a lot. Man. I don't really... <laughs> the hat on the hat is cool. I don't like I can't really... Like, you can't see the whole hat here. If I click on it, still can't see the whole hat. It's not very practical, is it? Um, it's a really cool hat. I kind of don't want to wear one, though. I, I know that troll kind of, kind of handed it to me, but I don't know. My computer was kind of having trouble during that fight, I noticed. I think I might need to look into that. Even gray. A marvelous twisting handle design in dark gray, topped with a silver owl. Oh. <laughs> That's very cool. Yeah, we'll, we'll go with it. We'll go with that. I like that. Awesome. Save game. I'm going to save it. I think I'm going to call it there for a night for the night. I am having so much fun playing this though. I will be back on tomorrow as soon as possible. Until then, I'll have a great one.